body. Uh, and I hope everybody, I hope people are staying safe and how nice it is to see everybody clapping. It's, it's lovely that, isn't it? It's such a nice thing. You're not well this evening, I tell you, honestly. I can't stop it now, I'm like that all the time. Oh, oh, oh. But, uh, I just want to mention a bit of something about Castleford this morning, you know, because I'm quite concerned, you know, with that Cooper and that. Uh, I'm just going to show you a letter I sent to Evette Cooper in August last year. I'm just, so you could, I'll start off with this letter so you can read it to people at Castleford. And I'm going to say, I will say this, make sure you watch your videos because your other areas are going to come up, obviously, uh, and it's important, you know, you, you get a get all that knowledge you know you think is that really what goes on is that really what happens because you've got to understand this with a lot of things I mean I pointed out some, there's some serious serious things going on you know and if people at Wakefield Council aren't accountable you know and they jump to that non-transparency thing we don't have to tell you anything we don't have to show you and if Mary McRae chief executive you know when I've even showed you on videos, you know, people's lives put at risk. If that isn't enough to stand down, then what in what is? And if they're not accountable, and our MPs don't hold them accountable, what, you know, where, do, where does it leave all of us? Yeah, we have ballot boxes to vote MPs out and get people in old job job, and that's, you know, that's, that's where we're left. I mean, the, to claim all this non-transparency all the time, but people, it's like, they're not accountable at council, and... You know, I've had no emails back off MPs as such. Yeah, I love John Trickett, but you'll see with what I've told you in videos. That, you know, it's not, it's not right good, is it? But let me just show you this first, what I said to this. She got off everything about, you know, corruption and everything, did a vet culprit. And basically what happened, I got an automatic response to this, basically saying, blah, blah, blah. And then it goes into, not your constituent. You're not my constituent. And for a long, long period of time, up to two weeks ago, I couldn't, the email just never got through. And two weeks ago, all of a sudden, I got an automatic response again. You know, the automated. And it's like, are they really bothered about anything? Anyway, I'll just show you this letter. Hopefully you can read it. Well, that was what I said, but I want to I just want to tell you something about Castleford this morning, just a quite interesting thing. I'm sure, I mean, I know a lot of young people in Cats, I know you've had some shocking, shocking things go on with flooding, I know that. Absolutely shocking. I just want to, I'm sure nearly everybody in Castleford will know where that is. I'm sure you all will know where that is. And you'll see there's a little brick wall in between. If you look over there, you can basically see it river. Well, about a few, three years ago, maybe, something like that. I'll tell you a story now about that brick wall. That brick wall had like a, in the middle, it had been smashed through. To, you know, to let water from flooding through. And what happened was, I got a call from Wakefield Council from one of the engineers. Could you meet me down there, exactly where that is? Could you meet me there with a couple of men and bring an excavator? I thought, what? Well, anyway, I, I got down there and it was a bit cloak and dagger. You know, I'll tell you about it when you get there. And I thought, oh. So I get there anyway. Can you get dig around back? Just so you know. Just so you know to, to this side here. Can you get digger down? Anyway, I climbed digger over the wall basically, went round. What we want you to do is 
dig down around this area and try to find it, a, a, some kind of valve. No. Oh. Anyway, what I did, what I dug, huge, huge, huge hole. And I actually come to something. And it was a flap valve. And what a flap valve is, basically, a lot of people know, it's when there's something behind it, it opens. When it closes, when water, and in your case, river, holds it tight. Now, I come across a huge flat valve. And as soon as I got to it, engineer from council, whoa. So, basically, we're doing an investigating thing, you know. They're wanting to know answers and questions, you know, all that. So, when I got to it, the flat valve were at this level, but all silt and everything from the river were up here. So, what I said was, look. Well, before I open this, because you don't know what's behind it, I said, let me dig a trench to the river so when I open it, water will go away. Hold on a minute. I said, why, well, what's the matter? I'll just make a call. Five, ten minutes later. Cover it up, cover it up. Why, what's the matter? Cover it, just cover it up. Fill it back in. I said, well, I said, surely you want to know if it opens or not, and, you know, and, and you know, just cover it up, cover it up, and basically that that is what happened. Now, I'm not going to suggest to everybody in Castleford and say, answer to your problems with flooding is this big flat ball. It may not be anything, you know. It will put, the size of it. It will it will put there for a reason. A lot probably a lot of years ago, but it will put there for a reason, and the size of it suggested. There were a lot of waters come down from places with that. It's got to have been. You, you don't put them in that size for nothing. But doesn't it get to art of it where, you know, just to... Does anybody really know what it does, whether it works? Should it be working? And then, you know, that's how... That's neglect to wait for your council, you know. That's just sheer neglect, you know. Not... You're right. And i tell you what, it's... Uh, if you don't, it's no, no, because I said, look, I said, it's down and all. I said, men can't go down there. I said, and it needs opening. I said, because it will have been wet. You won't just, it won't just be able to open it. Been, it'll cost a fortune. It'll cost a fortune. So that is, you know, that kind of attitude. No, 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 cost a fortune. Uh, I said, might need a bigger digger. No, no, no. And that's basically what happened. Now, how bad is that? Now tell me this, Yvette Cooper, because I'm not your constituent and obviously your lot get out clause answers for MPs. If you're not my constituent, it's, I can't deal with it. Well, I'm not your constituent, but if I'm not mistaken, your office more or less look, looks over that, if I'm not mistaken. So who, who, who's going who's to look into that? Shall I look into it or... Shall I get police, as John Trickett said, get police involved with things? But, I mean, you tell me. But shouldn't people of Castleford at least have an answer to things like that? Does, what is this valve? Does it work? Why did you cover it up so quickly? Why didn't you have a, a good look what, you know, where it went, what it did? I mean, the, the things what people in Castleford who flooded should, you know, you, just, you have a right to know, but as I said, Who's accountable? Who is accountable with these things? You know, MP should hold them to account. I mean, the things, they watch all the videos. And if MPs aren't going to hold people accountable, where, where do we all stand, really? Really. As I said, they come for your votes, they want your votes. And this, I've got so many, there's so many more other places I'm going to tell you about, but I mean, how bad is that? We went there to investigate something, you know, to try to get some kind of answers. And it was basically as though, you know, cover it up, it's going to cost too much money to look into, all, you know, all that business. How bad is that? So maybe, maybe a vet scooper might, I don't know, maybe she might send me an email now and say, oh, I'll look into that. Because basically they're not looking into much at the moment from what I can make out. And Meryn McRae, Chief Executive, who oh, I've clearly shown, has put lives at risk with some catastrophes. It doesn't seem like she's resigned, nor anyone else. And uh, as I said, there's a lot where I need to go back out taking pictures, but overall, I'll, I'll, what kind of, you know, what kind of carry on is that? You know, people, 
people need want you want answers, don't you? Uh, maybe maybe she'll write to council. They might give her an answer. They might say, well, it it doesn't work. It's this. It's that. But certainly for my part, you know, there were a lot more to investigate there. A, a lot more. A lot more. I mean, I'm not. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. You know. But it would just not cover it up, fill the hole in, fill it in. So, yeah, so that's just something for you at Cass to think about. It's quite nasty, isn't it? I mean, I'm going to tell you a lot of people about contracts, about people why they don't get these all sorts. I mean, in with John Cricket, there's that much going on in the all over there. I mean, that Kirby business part, there were hundreds of thousands spent on there. There were no tender for, you know, and when I talk about tenders and contracts, it's all basically based on best value for taxpayer because money overspent could have been spent on something else. And I've, to then I've told them all about this, you know, contracts, you know, work being given out, hundreds of thousands. Do you know there were that much spent on South Kirby Business Park and then a senior engineer at Waple Council said to me, to be fair, it, it should have really gone to, really gone to tender. It's probably cost us a lot, lot more than it should have. Now, what's that say? What does it say, people? But anyway, it's just a short video, this. I mean, I'm obviously a lot more to do. But uh, I'm not feeling right cracking this end today. I have to make a bit of light of it. I mean, so, yeah, anyway, as I say, everybody else, stay safe and, you know, keep stay safe and keep clapping. <laughs> that's all we can do, isn't it? You know, that's all we can do, but... I'm just trying to get these things highlighted. Any good to you that of that? You know, you know, you know that, you know that, you know that there. You know, I'm just held on to top of page here. Yeah, that's didn't you hold on to your seat with about that much? You know, skinny your fingernails. I mean, you might you might want to start looking into our corruption and you know, they didn't they aren't just fiddle mat fiddle. It's not just me. It's like everybody. You know, all your constituents pay taxes and that. You know, it's. You know, Probably something you might want to look into. I don't know. <laughs> but as I said, none of them, none of, you don't get a definitive reply. As I said, I showed you that one where I got from John Trickett and that. I'm getting numbers, but it's not, otherwise good at please. <laughs> good at please. <laughs> I'm good at please with, with all paperwork and try, try and make them understand workings and MPs and councils and everything. I don't think so, do you? I don't think so. But who's accountable, you know? Who is accountable? Yeah. You've got a chief executive wakey council still claiming the high ground there, you know. It's not it's not me this. It's not me. Well I've proven otherwise, Anna McRae. Get out. Get on that bus what to uh, Mary Cree had to go on. That that you know, that go away bus. Go away surplus to requirement bus, you know, you know what you've what you've done is bad. And what you haven't done is even bad. And that applies to all MPs. It's, you know, you need to get finger out your asses really with, with a lot of this. So anyway, yeah, so a lot to, a lot to you know, people need some answers about that. What is that valve? What is, and it's, when I said, when it's about, you know, about a metre round, you know, a big one, you know. So you'd, you'd expect what, what's gone into it to go into the river, it's quite immense. Right, I'm going to get off for now, everybody. So, I was in tech care, that's all I can say, tech care. Oh, 18 degrees, Sunday. It's not, not, going to, not going to do people much good, that 18 degrees, is it, sadly? I know, it's still, everybody's still going through it. I saw that all about... That's what I was saying about billionaires the other day, you know. Some of these billionaires ought to come together and say, look, we, we, we're going to do some big bailout, big, big billions of bailouts. And then maybe, like, you know, people might... After all this, if, if, when we do finally one day get rid of it, people might say, that, you know, that billionaire, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend at his company or I'm going to fly on his planes, and, you know, all that. You know, it might come back to them, you know, if put, throw a few billion in, it might come back to you, you know, that's how it works, isn't it? No, we'd audit it and that when you know, audit it when world's under so, such immense stress, it's, I don't know, I suppose well goes all thoughts on that, you know. I mean, I don't. I'm, I can't comment on this with footballers, you know. As 
some have been trying to claim 80% of the way, just, I don't know, I can't, I'm, not gonna, I'm not an authority on that, I mean, you just see what you see on telly, but it, it just don't, it just don't sit, and, sit good with anybody, does it, when you think, because everybody, I mean, oh, don't talk about, God, have you seen what that footballer gets, have you seen what he gets, have you seen what he gets, so, I mean, they should all step up to the plate, shouldn't they, you know, all of them, I mean, that's all I can say about that, you know, I'm, I'm not going to harp on about what I don't really, really know. Flooding and that right way, Bill District, that's something I do know, you know, I know quite a lot. But yeah, so yeah, I'm not ringing that bell this morning, men of McRae's, you know, stood down, you know, that hadn't been rung yet, so. Away I go again, oh, I tell you, man, unbelievable. You have to dose yourself, you have to dose yourself up on a morning, aren't you just, oh, just get going, it's ridiculous. Right, take care everybody. I'll just show, just show you this, you went, you know, you went peas and that, you know, just some at, some at places what could be coming up all of you, so. I'm hoping you can see these. Just some at places on my list. You know what I've looked after for 15 years. Quite a lot, isn't there? That's what, I, that's what I said even about parish council. Parish council, it's not going to say, oh well, see MP, you know, your parish council, you should, you, you, you all should want to know what goes on, you know, with your local, with your main council. You know, you call parish council. It says on poll tax, monitor parish council. So, you know, you should want to know, you know, get, in, get involved with it. Constructive, you know, for your area and people go, then people were doing something, you know. Anyway. Oh. 